Hello everyone, my name is Electrolab and today I'm going to be reviewing the Meteor hacked client and just some of the basic hacks that you can use on it. So once you've installed the Meteor client into your Minecraft game and you've got it all up and running, to open the hack menu you're going to press the right shift button on your keyboard and that's going to bring up all of these hacks. As you can see we've got miscellaneous, world, player, render, movement and combat. And these are the main sections and there's a little menu at the very top here as well. So by default it'll open to modules but you've also got config, GUI, the HUD, HUD, friends, macros, profiles and baritone. So what I'm just going to be covering in this video is the modules tab. So you open up to this modules tab. I'm just going to demonstrate a few of the cool hacks. So one of the really cool ones is air jump. This basically just allows it so you can jump on air. I know I'm a creative, but if I were to go into survival, I would be able to just jump on air. I can do like a double jump. So I can I can run, and I can jump up, and then I can jump, and then I can do another jump on top of that jump. So this is a pretty cool hack. It's sort of like flying, but you're just jumping. It's like playing Flappy Bird, I guess. Uh, let's see. So that's the first hack I'm just going to go over. Uh, the next one I'm going to go over is Auto Walk. So this is just going to automatically follow a path and walk in a random direction, I think. As you can see, it's just automatically traversing the terrain. And it will, I do believe, try to avoid uh, areas where you're going to take fall damage, but that's a segway. Oh, that's a a segue into a another hack that I'm going to look at. I'm just going to turn auto walk off. He walked us into the ocean, so that wasn't super good. Going to use the air jump to get back up here. Uh, one of the hacks you're going to want on if you are planning on using the flight hack is no fall. So with the no fall hack, if I continuously jump up really high using the jump. Now normally I would take fall damage but with no fall I don't take any fall damage. If I was to turn no fall off I do believe I would take fall damage. Yes I do. So uh, no fall is a useful one to have on. The Jesus hack is one which is pretty useful. It allows you to sprint jump across water so you can just run across water without having to to even worry about anything else and um, then you can do the air jump to get back up off the water again and no slow allows you to move normally when you're passing through objects that would normally slow you I believe this one I just give myself some cobwebs allows you to walk through cobwebs I'm not sure it could just be something else I'm not sure yeah no okay so no slow will make it so that you can just run straight through this cobweb normally I'd be slowed down if I were to turn, oh, if I were to turn the no slow off, I would get stuck in the cobweb. As soon as I turn it on, I can just race straight through cobwebs. So it's a bit of a useful feature. Uh, parkour automatically jumps to the edges of blocks. So if we turn the parkour hack on, then when I get to the end of this block here, it'll jump automatically. I'm not pressing space; it's just jumping at the very end of the block. So that's a useful one. It can be a useful one. I don't like it personally, but it's all right. Uh, next one I'm going to go to is flight. So if you click the flight hack on, it will allow you to fly around at amazing speeds. Like look how fast I'm going right now. It's so fast the world is struggling to load in. If I just head back to spawn here, and then if we press go shift it'll take us down really fast space makes us go up super fast and you can actually toggle the flight speed I just turn I'm gonna turn the flight off at the moment but if you right click on any of these modules here um, it's gonna bring up a little menu and as you can see we've got the flight speed set to 1 but it can actually go all the way up to 10 so that it, it can go at insane speeds but I'm gonna leave it at 1 for now and we go out of that. You just press escape to get out of the, the hack menu. So if you want to go back to looking at the to playing Minecraft from being in the hack menu, you just press the escape key. But I'm going to go back in by pressing right shift. High jump just makes you jump higher than normal, I think. I'm not sure if it's 
Is it two blocks? I'm not sure. No, I think that's just one block. I'm not sure if that one works. High jump. Okay, um, I'm going to skip that one. Boat fly allows you to fly in boats. Blink allows you to actually just leave your body behind. There you can see I'm over here. Walking around here, I can walk around. It's sort of like free cam, except you don't go back to your body uh, where, where it was when you when you turn the hack off, you actually are in the same place. So if we press shift and then turn blink off, it'll get rid of our clone that we've made back there and we'll be over here. And there's a t there's scaffold. Scaffold is a useful hack. So if I were to go give Electrolab, uh, let's say, quartz block and then I'll 128 say. Um, it allows me to essentially build super fast. So this is this is a hack. I it it builds without even me being on the block. So as you can see, I'm not even I'm not even holding the block at the moment. It just builds automatically. So I can I can sort of sprint, and it will catch me. You don't want to jump too far though, or it won't be able to keep up with you. But um, as you can see, I'm not actually clicking anything right now. It's just scaffolding for me. Oh, right now I'm going to run out of blocks. This is a pretty cool hack, so I can just sprint across the land. I can climb up and it will automatically build beneath me, so I'm not actually placing anything right now. I can just sprint and it will build for me. You can see me glitching around. A lot of people get caught using this on um, on servers like Hypixel and Bed Wars. I wouldn't recommend using this on a popular server with anti-cheats enabled because you're going to get kicked for this. But as you can see it looks pretty trippy and sometimes it misses so it's not perfect but it's, um, it's, very, it's a very good scaffold hack that it's got. As you can see it's doing a great job of just moving me around. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. Alright, I, I better move on to the next hack, otherwise I'm going to spend all day doing that, because that is very fun. Uh, let's see, there's Scaffold, which is just going to use up all the blocks in your inventory, basically, to build a, a scaffold. Or in your hotbar, at least, I think. Uh, let's see. Slippy changes the boss friction level of blocks. I'm not exactly sure what that one does. Sneak, that's just... A toggle for sneak you can already do that in vanilla you don't really need that speed modifies movement speed when you're moving on the ground so as you can see right now it's pretty normal but if we would go into speed and open up the tab here I, th I believe we can turn this all the way up to 20 and I can just it's like I've got speed it's like I've got speed 5 but I don't actually have speed 5 or more so as you can see I can move pretty fast Pretty useful hack, another one that you can get caught for, so don't use it on a server that doesn't allow hacks, I guess. Unless you're willing to suffer the consequences. Spider is just, it allows you to build up, or climb up walls. So if I were to just walk straight into this wall, it will climb up. So it's a little bit more of a sneaky hack, you might get away with using it, I'm not sure. Sprint automatically sprints, that just makes it so that you're automatically in sprint mode um, step, what does step do? as you walk up full blocks in instantly so step is like auto jump but it's less horrible where auto jump you've got to face the whole jump this is like riding a horse but you're just you so that's a pretty useful hack trident boost, I'm not going to cover that one velocity prevents you from being moved by external forces I think this is like anti knockback I'm not going to test it, I'm just going to assume that it works. Uh, this aim One of the really cool ones is anti-arrow. Is it arrow dodge? Arrow dodge, here we go. So if I were to go and change my difficulty to easy, I'm just going to put it on easy so I don't die straight away, and then I were to go summon Minecraft skeleton, and i got a couple of them here. Oh, it hit me there, just that one time. Oh, it's hitting me. Okay, just a second. Is it on? It's not on. Arrow dodge. So when arrow dodge is on, it will automatically move out of the way of arrows. So I'm not doing this at the moment. 
we're going to have to summon a few more skeletons. It's not perfect, you can still get hit, but it will mostly, for the most part, dodge all arrows shot at you by skeletons or players or dispensers, I think, as well. So it's pretty useful. As you can see, it's doing a pretty good job of dodging all the arrows. It just sort of teleports me away from the arrows. Or just moves me really fast. So that I'm pretty safe from skeletons. I'm going to turn that off. Actually, no, I'm going to leave that on. And I'm just going to turn it back into peaceful so we don't have a ton of mobs running around. Uh, another useful hack, as you can see, is getting dark. Is if we press right shift and we come over to the render hacks. There's one called Fulbright. So this one allows you to see basically everything, even though it's the middle of the night time. It looks like it's broad daylight. I'm just going to turn off step here because it's getting a bit a bit annoying. Uh, kill aura. So I just turned kill aura on. This should make it so that I attack all entities, but it doesn't seem to be doing that. So I'm going to just click on the tab. Let's see. It's got a whole complicated menu for you to go through here. Uh, let's see. Ignore babies. Ignore passive. So I'm going to turn ignore passive off. Should no, it's not attacking the sheep. Anyway, it should work with players. So that's another one. The kill aura. I, I don't know if the kill aura works or not. It probably does. I'm going to skip that one for now. And it's anti AFK. This will just make you jump or move every so often so that you don't get kicked from the server for being AFK. Anti hunger doesn't remove hunger, but it does reduce the amount of hunger that is consumed. Obviously, we don't need that because it's in peaceful at the moment. Auto clicker automatically clicks. So um, if I was in creative mode, it will automatically place and break blocks really, really fast. I just you know, go back into survival mode. All right. Oh, and it looks like it's still on. Where is it? Auto clicker. Turn. I'm going to turn auto clicker off. Auto. There's auto eat. Auto fish. Auto gap. Which I assume that's gapple. Um, auto replenish, auto respawn, they're, they're all pretty self-explanatory. Fake player, spawns a client side fake player for testing users, no need to be active, okay, I don't know what that one does. Uh, let's go down here, name protect, this just turns your skin into a Steve, so as you can see I've got this the Steve skin now and I think it protects your name, but if I unclick this it should go back to my skin and you can see that it's me. Uh, there's a bunch of other hacks as well. I'm not going to go through all of them. Those are the main ones. There's um, there's a really a whole complicated thing behind Baritone. I think you can get the the client to basically do a bunch of stuff on its own, like turn your account into like a robot account that just does stuff automatically. But I have no idea how to use it, so I'm I might go over that in the future when I figure out how to how to use it myself. Air place is pretty useful. I've already been over this one before, I think, in another video. But it allows you to just place blocks in the air without having to build scaffolding around to get up there. So this is pretty useful. Um, yeah, pretty neat. Good for parkour, I guess. You can jump, do parkour without um, without having to build up blocks. Good for building a parkour course, I guess. Flamethrower, what is this? I have no idea what flamethrower is. And th there's tons of, of hacks in here. I'm just going to test if the nuka works. I'm going to game mode creative just to see if it works in creative. I'm going to open the tab just to see if it's working or not. Oh, I'm not sure. Anyway, I think there's a nuka. I'm not sure if the nuka works or not though. And I'm just going to turn off all of these hacks now. I think that's all the hacks turned off. Turn air jump off as well. And that was a basic review of the Meteor hacked client and some of the things you can do with it. So I hope you enjoyed this video or found something useful that you can use. And I'll catch you in the next one. Have a nice day.